Remember this girl? This is the Condophase hognose snake that decided her eggs looked quite tasty and ate who knows how many before Ed thankfully caught her in the act and was able to save some of her eggs. Well, today is that big day where her clutch is starting to pip. <laughs> She was paired to our male conda hognose snake, and we did that because we are trying to get a super conda, which is a hognose snake that has no spots whatsoever. You have your wild type hognose, which has quite a few spots. Then you have your conda phase hognose, which has a reduced number of spots. And the super conda is what happens when a baby gets the conda gene from both parents, not just one of them. And being a co-dominant trait, you have a super form. It's kind of a confusing one, so watch this video to learn about snake genetics and it'll make a lot more sense, trust me. So we have our fingers crossed today that we see a baby in one of these eggs that has no spots and is therefore a super conda. Here are the babies. Oh my gosh, one of them's already out. Oh yeah. Wow, well Thank you- you, you little overachiever. Yeah, this one already came out. So this is a normal phase hognose snake. See how many spots this one has down its back? Uh, this is the wild type, or which is also referred to as a normal type. So this is what they look like in the wild. And we have another one here that's pipping his nose out. So let's see if I can open that up. Hey, little one. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, did I scare you to go back in? I'm sorry. Take a look at this, guys. You can see his spots through the shell. So he doesn't even need to hatch. I think He's he, normal. he looks like a normal based on all those spots. Um, but we'll see when he comes out. He could be a low expression conda. But do you guys see what I see? This one has pipped. This is McDonald's that has pipped. I'll turn him around. Oh, yes, I can see it. In the... Do you see it now? I can see it from the other side. Could you? Guys, look through his shell. There are no spots there whatsoever. This. Don't mind me. Can you see? It? Yeah. No spots. There we go. McDonald's turned into a super conda. McDonald's, you're a super conda. Apparently, this one just wants to be the star of the show. I guess. Do, are we not paying enough attention to you? I'm sorry. Who is that? Uh, Sonic. Eh, go figure. Yeah. Sonic wants more attention. Or uh, it makes sense. Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. and Sonic the Restaurant. He's super fast. Yeah. That one, whoever buys this one, you should name it Sonic. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we do have a super form. Can you see anything else? Um, that one might be. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna turn this so that all the logos are facing the right way. This is the clutch that we decided to label after a fast food restaurants since the mom decided her eggs looked like fast food treats. So that's why the uh, like Arby's is here and DQ is there. But let's look inside some more. Here's Taco Bell. Taco Bell also pipped. Hi, little baby. Face. Oh, you're super cute. I don't know what you are yet. We'll I think have to... that's a conda. Think so? I can see on the side. Okay, maybe we've got a conda there. Oh, here's a Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut's pippin'. Yeah, Pizza Hut's upside down. That's the Pizza Hut hat. Here, there's Pizza Hut. Yeah, I think Pizza Hut might be low expression conda yeah. too. Or a normal. There's a possibility. Compared to this one, that's a conda. That's true, yeah. Yeah, we might have a conda in there. <gasps> Guys, look at DQ. Here's the DQ egg. Here's the side of the DQ oh, egg. Yep. I think that's a super conda. Oh, that's easily a super conda. Oh my gosh, we have two. There's two super condas in here. At least two supers, and they haven't even hatched yet. Oh, right, well, that's man. gonna make Emily stop looking. No, yeah. I wanna look inside. Nope. You gotta give it a couple more hours. Let uh, them be in peace. Okay, we'll right. look back later. We'll be back in about five, six hours. This is like peeking inside of Christmas presents before you're allowed to yeah. open them. At least you're not shaking them. Yeah, that's true. It's been about 24 hours now since the first one pipped, and we finally get to peek inside the eggs and see what all we've got. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. Oh, wait, where's the... Oh, there he is. There's the baby that was out. Oh, he already learned how to burrow. They grow up so fast. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's right. He's a speed demon. Yep. What else do we have coming out? Looks like Pizza Hut is a... That might be a conda. Yeah. Look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six heads out. Oh, oh my Jeez. goodness. Sonic, there calm down. Shed, oh, cool. Look, the first shed that hognoses have uh, occurs within the first day of hatching, but it's so fine that you often don't even see it. So it's kind of cool we got to see it there. It's a really weird, unusually thin shed. Oh my goodness, look at the babies. Oh, 
McDonald's, are you what we thought you were yesterday? <gasps> That's an all black belly with white walls down the sides. Those are signs of either a conda or a super conda. And he is totally a super conda just looking through that egg. That's awesome, we got one. All right, Arby's, you're my favorite fast food restaurant of choice. What are you gonna be? <gasps> Looks like he is a little wild type or a little normal in there. Then we have Pizza Hut uh, mm -hmm. Conda here. He looks like a nice, big, healthy baby. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to Culver's sticking his head out. Look at his head stamp. That's really pretty. It looks like he has a, a smiley face on his head. Oh, yeah. That's really cute. Dude, I love your head stamp. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to come out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's back in now. Oh, we have another normal or wild type. All right, Culver's, you look good. Sorry. They were all upside down, I just realized, for you guys. So there you go. Now everything is right side up. Oh, look at his face. Hardies, look at your fat face. Oh, oh my goodness, look at the side. There's another one. I don't think I see any pattern there. Oh, yeah. you can see it there. That's another super conda. Oh my gosh. Awesome. DQ, I see your nose poking out. You're so cute. Can I boop it? Boop. I don't even care. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Another one? That's another one. There's no spots on that snake. That's another super conda. Jeez, okay. How about Taco Bell? This is the last one that had pipped. Taco Bell. Oh, I see some dots along the, the wall, so it's not a full white wall. I'll cheat. That is a normal. Yep. So, we have, how many to cut? One, three. two, three, yep. Okay, Domino's. Are you gonna be another super? We have a either a conda or a normal. I see spots. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's yeah, hard to tell. can't quite tell. Looks healthy though. Next is Carl's Jr. Hey Hardies. Hi little super Hardies. I don't know how I'm gonna cut this because you're attached. I'll have to cut a bit and then probably tear. Eh, goop. So much goop. Carl's Jr. is has weird colored goop. It does. Is Carl's Jr. alive? I see a face way, way down in there, but I don't see any movement. That one we're just gonna let sit. Yep. And that leaves us with Caribou Coffee, Emily's favorite coffee shop. So much better than Starbucks. Oh, I can hear all the people unsubscribing now. Yeah. What's inside of you? Oh, that looks good. Mm. Caribou Coffee is... A good looking normal, it looks like. Oh, oh, you are pretty. One really mad boy over here. Oh, he is angry. I'm so mad, look at my cheeks. He's doing the long tongue flicks. Oh, the baby hiss. <laughs> oh, he's trying to flare up so much and yeah. it's adorable. Haven't had any baby hogs play dead though this yeah. year. He like is trying, but I think he's just losing his balance. Yeah, I think so. He's not actually playing dead, he's just falling. He's striking and falling. <laughs> Should we put them back for now and come sure. back later? Yep, when more of them are out. Okay. Guys, look. Look at the baby hogs that are out. I think they are all out. When I was looking earlier, I think they all came out. Whoa. Oh, did, you, did you see that stripe? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh, there's three supers three out. Three super condos. Wow. That one, that one. Oh, that one's got a cool dot on its head. Yeah, it does. And this little guy, oh. who's underneath the perlite. <laughs> you can't see me. He's hydering. Oh my gosh. Well, I won't bother the one that has his head buried in the perlite, but look <clears> at <throat> these two. Yeah, look at the difference in their head stamp. Yeah, like super dark head stamp versus like super light head stamp. Yeah, and stripe versus dot. This one's almost a pinkish color too. Yeah. Which I think is cool. Yeah, that dorsal stripe is beautiful. Looks like a girl too. Oh, you think so? From what I can see on top. Anyway. This one's shedding. Here. No! Sorry. My nose! You're shedding. I'm like playing got your nose. Got your nose! With baby hog noses. Okay, she seemed like she was having trouble starting it, so there you go. You can take it from there. Oh, this beautiful one. What My... do you think? Girl? If it's a girl, we're keeping it. I think it's a boy, though. I think? Um, that actually might be a girl. We've gotten sent males that look like females to me. We've gotten ma females that look like males. Yeah. And it's like, especially when they're this age. I can sex them when they get older. Well, some this are pretty easy. Like, that's a girl. Look how short and squat that little tail is. That one's a girl for sure. And then this might one... Might just be a not well-endowed male. Yeah. And this one could be a long-tailed female. Yeah. I think... And that one's escaping. <laughs> Go! 
Make the run. You can do it before we notice you. Oh, where could he be? I don't know where he yeah. went. We're, we're down one hognose. We only have two, four, six, eight? We only have eight babies. Oh, no. Where Where'd did he go? Where'd the knife go? Oh, my gosh. Gotcha. Oh, so sassy. Oh, that's probably Sonic. Oh, I bet you're right. I bet that is Sonic. These, oh, there's two. These two. Still need to hatch. Yep. Yep. So that's a conda. Yeah. Normal, normal, normal. normal. Maybe another conda. That's totally another conda. Well, look at that difference. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. Look at that difference. Oh my gosh, that's a cool picture. You can see the, the, the progression of the pattern, like, going away. Mm -hmm. ha, that's so cool! We've got normal on the right, conda in the middle, super conda on the left! That one's probably the most drastic one. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, genetics lesson. Wild type. This is when a baby has one copy of the conda gene. Whether it's from mom or dad, they get kind of that conda look, or the reduced pattern. And when they get both conda alleles, one from mom and one from dad, then that's what makes your super conda. Cool! Look at all of them! There goes Sonic again. Uh, Sonic, come back. Should we look and see what's going on with the two that are still in the egg? Oh yeah! Looks like Domino's and, and Carl's Jr. or Hardy's. Okay. This one looked iffy, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, I don't think this one made it. Oh yeah, that was the one that was like all goopy. Oh, uh, that was another super. Was it? Yep. No. Not alive. That's a, that's a bummer. That was another super conda. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah, we got three. Yep. Who's in Domino's? Domino's Hi. still alive. Are you okay, first off? Do you look good? You healthy? Oh yeah. Oh, Domino's is responding. I think Domino's is a conda. Yeah. That kind of looks like a conda pattern. All right, well, he'll come out on his own. Yeah, probably tonight. Yep. I'm going to take Hardy's out yep. so he doesn't rot. Makes sense. And uh, we'll check back when Domino's is out. Baby! Good news! The last baby is out, and it is a condomorph. I don't know which one is the conda that was in the egg before, but we have three that are out now. We've got one, two... And three beautiful condas. Look at all of them. Oh, this one's starting his first. Actually, a couple of them are already starting their first sheds. Yeah, there's a super conda down here that's got stuck shit on his back. Oh, look at that. Aw. So unlike bull snakes and quite a few other snakes that take a week to shed their first time, hognose snakes shed almost immediately after hatching. But the first shed is so fine that you barely even notice it, and usually it just disappears in the perlite below. Yeah, or it looks like a nut, like egg pieces like that up there. That is the shed. Look at that. You're right. That does look like an eggshell. Yeah. I never thought of it that way. Now we're not going to feed them right away even though they had their first shed. We're still going to give them five to seven days before offering their first meal. This is a beautiful super conda but then look at this one. Oh my gosh. That stripe. That stripe yeah, is so... Like super pink. You can see that one's like got that red all the way behind its head up into its head pattern whereas the one right next to it is all gray like they normally are so that's kind of interesting to see that instead of a dark cream color a red color. Oh you're so cute. Oh and this one's got the cinnamon roll tail going. Oh and the and long tongue flicks. Oh, Those cheeks! Poke. Oh, you <laughs> offended him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these guys are cute. Cool. Well, these babies look amazing. Every single egg hatched, except for the one, I guess, that we took out earlier. But yeah. that iffy conda came out. I don't know which conda it was, but they all look great. Oh, look at that black belly. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And it's got those white walls along the sides of the belly. You are gorgeous. You have a snake getting away. Come here, let's look at your belly. Oh, your belly's kind of checkered. Oh, weird. Usually supers are like Jet super black. black. Yeah. Not this one. He's like, I'm different. I have a multicolored belly. Oh, that one has a nice black yeah, belly. Yeah, that one's nice and black. Oh, you are pretty. Oh, maybe we'll have to hold you back, even if you are a boy. Gosh, these babies are so cute. Aw, well, we definitely hit the odds for some nice super condas in this clutch. And we have some beautiful condas, too, and a good balance of some normals or wild types. You guys have seen us put babies in baby bins over the last like five or six clutches, so we're not gonna make you watch that in today's video. Instead, I think we're just gonna wrap it up. Ah, I've got a normal right here and a conda and a super conda over here. Oh, these babies are so cute. Look at 
at you. You are so adorable. And none of you played dead. I'm proud of you. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as always, thank you to all of our amazing Patreon backers for your generous support. I hope you enjoyed seeing some adorable baby hog noses. Let me know which is your favorite variation, the normal, the conda, or the super conda in the comments below. We're always curious to see what people's favorites are. So let us know your thoughts and we'll see you next time.